Can Chivachal live in hot weather? Answers to a burning topic. Dog owners always wonder if their northern dogs with thick fur coats can live where it is warm outside. The Chow is one of the first breeds to come to mind. Can a Cho Chow live in hot weather? It can be because you see Chows is a popular breed in many areas like Las Vegas, Los Angeles, or Atlanta. Everyone realizes that you are asking whether a Chow can be outside in the heat or survive without air conditioning. The Cho Chow does not tolerate living in hot weather very well. Her double coat, designed to insulate her pants, is her best defense against heat and intense sunlight. However, her shortened muzzle largely negates the benefits of both adapters. You can help your Cho cope with rising temperatures by bringing her indoors when it is too hot, limiting exercise except early in the morning or late at night, and providing suitable shade, moisture, and air currents. Common Chow Health Issues Add to Heat Intolerance Two major issues that can leave a Chow even more vulnerable to hot weather than usual are heart disease and obesity. According to OFA statistics, Cho Chows are not particularly prone to cardiac disease, but they can suffer from congenital disabilities like pulmonic stenosis or PDA. Pulmonic stenosis involves narrowing the artery between the heart and lungs and PDA, patent ductus arteriosus, is a defect between the heart walls that fails to close at birth. If your child does suffer from heart problems, he can have additional issues breathing, leaving him more vulnerable to the effects of heat. An overweight child can also struggle with breathing issues and may not have sufficient mobility to move when he becomes uncomfortably hot. Other mobility challenges are hip dysplasia, degenerative myelopathy, a progressive neurological disorder that leads to paralysis, diabetes, and hypothyroidism. Unique Effects of Heat on the Chow 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 Chows can suffer from several ill effects of hot weather. The biggest concern, of course, is heat exhaustion, which can quickly progress to life-threatening heat stroke. The following list addresses signs that your dog is in serious trouble. Breathing rate increases, many times becomes louder because the tongue starts to swell. Panting may seem not only loud but also frantic or distressed. Mucous membranes and tongue take on an abnormal hue, bright brick red or dusky. The mouth starts to look dry, and if you touch the tongue or mucous membranes, the tissues will feel sticky or tacky. If you apply pressure to the upper gum, the refill will be delayed more than two seconds. Gums may appear bruised, lethargy or even collapse, disorientation, seizures. Beware because seizures will increase body temperature even further. Coma. Heat stroke is lethal and immediate action is crucial. A dog's temperature will easily surpass 105 degrees Fahrenheit and anything over 106 causes tissue destruction in the brain. Bring the dog inside or move to a cool area. Use cool water. Cold icy water is contraindicated as it can shock the system by bringing the temperature down too fast or disrupt the blood vessels on the skin's surface, which can dissipate heat. Focus on wetting the head, stomach, feet, under the forelegs and between the hind legs. Apply alcohol to foot pads. It may not help much, but it does not hurt. Get your dog to a veterinarian immediately. Your veterinarian will continue cooling efforts and address other issues such as dehydration. Intravenous fluids and oxygen therapy are common treatments in a hospital setting. Supportive care controls seizures and treats any resulting organ damage or muscle injury. Ideally, you should have a rectal thermometer to monitor your chow reliably. How can you help your cho chow cope with hot weather? Your chow should live indoors in the summer. She requires excellent ventilation and even air conditioning when outside temperatures approach 80 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit or the humidity nears 20%. You also need to moderate activity levels in the summer. Chows are not high-energy dogs, but you need to move daily exercises to the cool parts of the day. You can also invent some activities to do inside. Note that as the humidity rises, the temperatures your dog can handle decrease significantly. Some chows live outside in moderately warm conditions out of necessity, but a few things must occur. If you want to know more about Chow Chow Dog, visit our website fluffydogbreeds.com.